What's up everybody? Welcome to the Amateur Coder channel. So today we're going to work on building and releasing the iOS app. In the last video we built and released the Android app and it got published finally and already there's a bunch of bugs so that's why you want to release it to beta first and make sure you test it. Also before if you're doing a real production app you probably want to test it more than I did but I was trying to get some videos out so I didn't do as much testing. All right, let's get into the iOS part. So you're gonna need an Apple developer account. This costs $100 a year, so it's not super cheap. All right, so first things first, need to register a bundle ID. If you're using Xcode, which hopefully you are, it creates one for you already. So com.flutter.bookclub has already created for me. Now the next step, we need to go to App Store Connect. and add an app new app we'll call the app book club english bundle id this one so the sku can be anything we we'll call it book club app and create So I quickly picked the name Convene. I don't really know if I like it yet, but I was in the middle of recording, so I'm like, screw it. <laughs> so in the general app information, remember our privacy policy. In the last video, we created it in our GitHub project. So you can paste that here. You can say Convene, uh, read books with friends. Make sure you have the right bundle ID selected category choose books and we can leave this a little bit for a little bit later but now let's go to xcode and in the runner we need to make sure we check everything so display name gonna be convene now we keep this identifier the same for now but that's okay automatically manage signing we already have that Automatically manage signing. Team is me. Deployment target. In the general tab is anything iOS 8 or above. And we can update the app's name to convene. Update the app's version number. 1.0.0 is fine, actually. Add an app icon. All right, so to create iOS icon, there's this app called Icon Set Creator. So you drag your logo in here, platform iOS, you click go. Where do you want to save it? Let's just save it to the desktop for now. We'll do new folder, icon set. Okay. And that's it. It put it in there. Okay. So now we can close that. And I think we could just drag it in here and we have our icons. Nice. So now we want to run it to make sure it worked. All right, so we got the app icon step created. Now let's create a build archive. So for this, we just need to run flutter build iOS. We have our terminal, do flutter build iOS. Man, I really screwed myself over updating my phone to iOS 14 beta, but I think it might've worked. So it was successfully built Xcode. You do flutter build iOS. And then you go into Xcode, do product, and destination, generic iOS device. Product, destination, generic iOS device. So the version is the correct version. Then we gotta go to product, archive, and we should see a screen pop up. So, all right, we'll see an archive screen like this. We can click validate app to make sure everything's fine. Click next. Automatically manage signing.
Nice, so our app was validated. Now we can distribute the app. App Store Connect. Upload it. And then we pretty much go through the same process again. But we know it will work because we validated it. So there we go. Our app has been uploaded to the App Store. So back in App Store Connect, we can fill in the rest of these features. So the build isn't showing up because it's still processing. So once it's done processing, we'll have this build and then we'll be able to submit it for review. But right now we must wait for the build. So there we go. After some time for me, it took like half an hour or 10 hour. You should have a little green check mark saying it's ready to test. Then you can add test groups and you're good to go. Then your app will be in beta on the app store as well. So that's it for this video. There's gonna be a lot of cleanup that needs to happen because I mean the icons book club, the app's called Convene now, the Android app's called Book Club, they're all separated. But I'll do that cleanup off the air. Then also I'll clean up with those couple bugs that I found and hopefully we'll have a working app and then we're gonna implement CI CD, continuous integration, continuous development, so that we don't have to go through all this complex process anymore for the next next every time we update the app. And that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.